For my next build, it's this kit I ordered from AliExpress a few years ago before COVID and uh, it arrived from China. It took me a while to get at it because it, I wasn't sure what colors to paint it. Well, this is what's included in this UFAN uh, model kit of this Mech Warrior with this, uh, it's got the female pilot. Uh, not a lot of pe uh, pieces to it, but the uh, casting, it's a resin cast, it's uh, very crisp. There's, uh, very little seam work and cleanup to do on it. Lots of detail. Um, I'm going to have fun choosing colors for this one. As you can see here, it's got a pollen socket joints for the arms and legs. Goes in there. I have to use uh, crazy glue for that to glue this together. I'm just going to go through it with my magnifying uh, glass and my hobby knife and files just to clean up any little seams that need uh, cleaning up. Uh, as you can see here, this is his foot, so this piece here will have to come off. Sorry, this piece here will have to come off, uh, off of his foot there on his leg. And this is a little pilot. A lot of details on this. I'll try and do some pictures um, to do it uh, justice to what you can see. There's a lot of detail on her. Well, I'm returning back to this mechanical uh, soldier warrior type thing, uh, model kit. Uh, I've done the inside panels uh, in this Model Master zinc chromate green, and then I've done the seat in just flat black, and then brushed Model Master leather over the seat cushion part. I'm going to detail paints. There's a lot of detail in there, so I'm going to just do some detail painting on that. The uh, pilot, the female pilot, I d did um, sort of in lilac and purple. I'm not sure that's the way I want it to go. My wife said it looks like a gymnast. I was thinking it looks more like a circus clown outfit. So I'm thinking of doing it in a more military style, maybe in tan and brown for her suit. Anyway, I've started uh, working on this again, and there's so much detail in this kit. It's just amazing. I'll be putting some panel line washes over that. I won't be doing too much to it because I'm just not really sure what to do. Um, but I'll do as much as I can and try not to overdo it. Well, I've done some of the detail painting on the inside of this cockpit for this mechanical soldier. Uh, I just did the floor in orange and trying to brighten it up a bit. A little bit of yellow around the sides, like a caution tape sort of thing. Got the um, leather seat. Got some, uh, just there's some raised uh, details. I just painted them with the uh, Sharpie markers. And I'll do a wash around the outsides and the, and the panel lines. I think that's about all I can do in there. It looks like there's some foot pedals and a couple of joysticks beside the seat there. And uh, I'm not familiar with a lot of the science fiction stuff, but uh, it's, so I'm kind of guessing <laughs> what it would look like. Anyway, it's uh, kind of fun, and I carry on. Well, I'm back to my mechanical soldier build. It's just about done. I've got a lot of detail painting done on the main body of the uh, figure. I've gone around and painted the uh, hoses and things, brass and copper. I've gone over it with a dry brush with some silver just to throw some scratches and wear and tear. I've got some uh, detail on the cockpit. I'll put some pictures up at the end. It will maybe be a little bit better quality. Then the black wash, uh, Tamiya black wash panel line over the uh, figure and uh, a brown wash on his feet to show a little bit of dirt there. I got the guns here in uh, gun metal and uh, some translucent blue or pearl blue, um, Aztec pearl blue on the gun barrel there and a little bit of uh, pearl purple 
on this one here just to add some interest. And uh, again, I've got some copper and brass on the hoses here at the back, some uh, silver on the uh, hinge parts, parts of the levers and, and hydraulics and that. So uh, next is uh, seal it up and uh, glue it together. I'll probably be sealing it with a spray of matte uh, clear. I'll likely be using the uh, totally LA Totally Awesome Mop and Shine. When I spray it through my airbrush, it comes out matte finish and uh, usually looks pretty good. So I'll be giving that a try there and just get that this uh, dry for a little bit and seal it up. And uh, So stay tuned for further updates. Okay, well the time has arrived to start assembling this little figure. There's, not, there's only these pieces and there's ball and socket joints for the arms and legs. They've been uh, taped up and uh, just removed the tape and uh, light sanding. Uh, used, uh, I'm going to be using uh, CA glue. The only problem is there's no alignment marks or, or positions where they, they go on, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge uh, aligning everything and then getting it to uh, balance and sit level. It's quite heavy, it's solid resin, so there's quite a bit of weight to it, which is interesting because with the metallic paint on it, it makes it look more, or feel more realistic as well. So uh, hang on here, I'm going to see if I can put this together, and uh, if I can, I'll be back. Okay, well, here I made it back. I got it all together. It took a couple of tries. I started by putting the arms on because I wanted uh, all the weight on it before I put the legs on and get it balanced. I put one leg on and then I put the other leg on and uh, it was a little bit uh, top heavy. It wanted to fall backwards. So I, I was using a CA glue, it dries pretty quick, but I was able to pull off the legs, snap them off, I reposition them and glue them back on again and hold them with the uh, in balance. Um, and then I was able to glue this uh, hatch cover on here with the girl. And there's two points here to glue to the hatch and then her two feet glue to the floor. Um, so it's lining all those points up in the, in the one point, the glue point at the back of the hatch. It's a little tricky. It took a little time, but uh, I persevered and it's done. So uh, I'll give you a little look at it here. I just touched it up with some uh, the glue points with some paint. I took some of the uh, redness out of her lips. It was a little too bright. I just put a little bit of flesh tone over her face again. A little bit of a black wash on the back here. You can see some of the... I don't have a lot of metallic uh, colors and washes and stuff. So uh, from the previous videos you can see what I've done. It's some copper and some brass and some silver and gun metal in there. It took me, I started this in February this year and I just finished here October 31st building on and off. Uh, it took me a long time to decide what colors to use and uh, this is the final product. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks great. The inside's got a little bit of detail. I like the leather on the leather seats there. That's the Tamiya leather uh, brown uh, acrylic paint. And the rest is mostly done with uh, markers. All the dots there for the gauges and so forth. That and uh, try to put a little bit of brightness inside there to lighten it up a bit. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. Just have to figure out some way of displaying it now. I'm not uh, haven't done any dioramas yet. Don't have the materials for that, but I'll try and make a base or some figure out some kind of a base for it. But at least for now, it can stand on the shelf without falling over. So it's not very big. It's a approximately 135 scale. You can see it here in my hand. I've got some uh, silver in the back of his legs there to figure where there'd be wear and tear and that and rubbing. Uh, I assume those are exhausts there, so I did a black wash over that. Dry brush some black on there. A lot of detail on this thing. So lots of ways you could paint it. Anyway, thanks for watching.